he grew up in a house with, that was full of art, which was pretty unusual in those times. So um, his grandparents were collectors and um, their link went back to dad's grandfather who um, knew Norm, uh, Henry Lawson. Through knowing Lawson, um, Dad's father got to uh, meet the Lindsays and, you know, and Gruner and Jackson. He joined the Navy in f just straight after school, so at the end of 44, and he had a small, you know, just got in at the end of the war. And um, yeah, when he got discharged, he got a lump sum and he spent 40 of his 100 pounds on a Norman Lindsay. It was just always there. I mean, I remember as a kid, um, like by the time I was eight, I used to take visitors around on a tour. So I, I kind of knew who, you know, I knew the, the artist and maybe a little anecdote about some of the paintings. And uh, so, you know, it was, you knew it was kind of unusual because people would come in and their jaws would drop. So he started collecting Australian paintings, but very, quickly, he um, diversified into, into just about everything. He started travelling a lot through Asia for work. He was uh, an obstetrician and gynaecologist. He helped uh, a lot of galleries in that uh, he, mainly through encouraging firstly a lot of his co medical colleagues to collect and also his friends. So um, if he ever met anyone who showed any interest in art, he would um, be very happy to give him his time and consult with him and you know maybe give him the confidence to buy a painting for the first time. Yeah, he had an amazing life, he did a huge amount of travel and um, I remember after his uh, Thanksgiving service people were just walking out shaking their heads and just pondering you know what he'd achieved in his life so it was an incredibly you know productive life. Oh, I think it's just an incredible, uh, you know, collection. It's an amazing, ju just the the act of collecting it all is really incredible. It's a, it's like a lifetime's work.